Blancat Metal World, November 4, 2017. What you're looking at here is a Rockwell hardness tester, and this is in the C scale indenter. And this video I'm going to talk about um, hardness, strength, and load. And it related to why I left my knife uh, at very high hardness. And a lot of PAM easy to to think that oh high hardness equal to brittle. I think there is a you know, I need to clear to go to the basic concept. For example, this knife is in Neolox and the Rockwell is is uh, 65 0.5 plus um, Rockwell C skill. So in, for stainless steel at this hardness, it will be brittle. Well, this is a um, bushcraft knife. So in the in the conventional you know, wisdom or heat treat, then when after you quench, the steel could I mean. In, Standard the heat treat may not able to get to 65 plus hard rock well, but uh, assume that they get up to that level, then it's still very brittle, and that's why people temper to lower it. So rather than look at steel and then I need to go into the basic con basic concept of hardness, strength, and what load mean by using something that we all can relate to. And the easiest example, okay, when you have test for hardness, basically you have an indenter. And you poke into the material, and the, uh, the depth, the shallow it is, that means the harder it is. So that's all it meant. And so it's based on penetration. That's what it called an indenter, how much you can indent. And so, so that now I will, I will put this knife aside. I will use the different medium and different testing so that you can we can easily understand this. Think of my arm here is the material a blade instead of blade. Think of my arm. Okay? So, and in this case, if I'm going to test uh, using indentation test, I'm going to test where one of the muscles is. I can poke in. And I say, okay, let's pick a number. I say, well, really, it damn pretty deep. Therefore, let's say Rockwell at say, let me help. I say 50, really low here, right? And then I say, okay, and I assume that I will say, assume I can lift. I mean, curve. Um, um, okay, so I mean, this is my given strength. Say my strength, it has say a hundred pounds. That's my strength. Right? So now if I lift something, say fifty pounds word, now I'm tensing up. Now the same indent is coming in, testing it, this thing. It's very shallow. And you say, well, okay, say, wow, this thing it at sixty five. Rock well, that's great. Right? So now suddenly, okay. My strength still the same, haven't changed. It's still 100 pounds worth strength, strength. But the hardness cha change. It changed because of the strain, in this case, you know, the stress on it. This, similar to steel, steel can be in under stress mode or dislocation mode. You might test it and you get high hardness. That's why a lot of blade at high hardness, they're brittle because under stress. And now low, low is my 100 pounds worth. Now, if I only do 50 pounds, you can, I can only add another 50 here before I break. That low, so that, so the current state, only 50 pounds low. But if I relax like this, now I can lift an object 100 pounds. So my load 100 pounds. See what the net available for work, that's the load. So, so for my knife, The analogy would be, it actually, I think, is under low stress mode. So it have high load. 
I said, well, of course, these are, you know, I, I tried to test it, but of course we have to do laboratory confirmation on that. And that's why I able to have a, an edge at high hardness, as long as the condition in the microstructure inside is not under stress or strain uh, in the relaxed mode. Yeah, it's still six, if my, if this thing is 65 versus somebody else 65, but if somebody sells 65, they're at 90, Nine pounds strain already. All you have to do is put a little bit, snap, break. That's the difference between hardness, strength, strength is your total capacity. And but I mean, and then you have well, low, and how much low you have uh, remain that you can do work. So then the hardness testing is only useful to figure out the resistance of penetration. And so the stress amount inside this little indent that is no. They only know that it got resisted. And so that's why really, I mean, we you know, uh, have good understand, uh, understanding of it. So that when you when you compare steel and you're talking about hardness, hardness to hardness, not all the same. It's just about resistance to indentation. That's all. The strength, the strength of the the steel is mainly similar, but the load, the net load, the one that how much I mean, the balance of the load, how much it can do work at certain level. But of course, as the Think of a diamond, why it's so hard? Because actually it doesn't, they're not under distress. It's actually in a relaxed mode. That's why it's able to do, you know, like one of the hardest thing, material, you know, on earth here. Of course, there are other synthetic stuff are hard too, but because in relaxed mode. But if it were under highly distressed, it's like nitroglycerin or something. If you have that much strength, but you're under that much distress, then yet you become explosive because you already a loaded system. So just like, a, just like a, this a piece of wood, if you bend it, the arts outside here under distress, then yeah, it's harder. But you know that you know, it doesn't take much to break it. So understanding uh, hardness, is just knowing that um, it's only an indication, an indicator of resistance of being indented. But the actual strength is about, for the steel here, the, the microstructure, and that's why you are testing the edge and see where the edge is stable enough, meaning that it can do work, put a lot of load on it, the remaining load for the apex, how much can it take? And that's why if you with a bone or something, that's why I say, why, if they were conventionally heat treated and not not uh, uh, did even temper, for example, untemper. The edge won't take the edge because as soon as you put any ladder on it, it crumble because it's already at near maximum you know, stress, strain. On this case, I mean, in mythology, the dislocation. Anyway, I'm repeating myself. Well, well thanks for watching. <laughs>